we look at uh, family issues and because we know that that small unit called a family if something goes wrong it affects the entire society which makes it a very critical part of our lives as human beings we're looking at how to manage your in-laws especially in a marriage setting obviously joining us on this segment it's a pleasure to have uh becky oloru for me here yeah, she's been here <laughs> once before yes. she's back thank you for coming becky thanks for having me all right and also we have a first timer uh she's pastor mrs <laughs> for me daniels thank you for coming thank you so show. much for having me all right so, <laughs> so, a, a woman's Good affair <laughs> Justin, sorry, I can't help you. Yeah, I'm blessed about you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're looking at a very critical issue that affects us, especially women, you know. Um, and I men. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and men, yes, I always forget, and men, yes, because it takes a man and a woman, yeah. you know, sure. to, uh, in a marriage setting. Mm -hmm. You know, um, people always, almost always, you know, have issues uh, with, the family of whoever they are, uh, the family they are marrying into. Sure. And I want to know, is this just an African thing? Or is this a universal thing? What's your take, really? Let's start from Pastor Daniels. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I would speak for Africa. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's very African because of our traditional setting. Okay. And um, I'm Yoruba, for instance, and one thing we believe in when it comes to marriage mm -hmm. is you don't marry the man, you marry the you family. Marry the family. So I grew up with that. I grew up with family gets into your business. You know, I saw that happen life. Hmm. You know, where uncles, aunties get into parents' business. And um, for me, it was quite discomforting because I, my orientation of marriage is it's the man and the woman, you know. Yeah, family can come in, but it shouldn't be in terms of in-depth issues, okay. personal to the husband and the, the wife. wife. Mm -hmm. So, um, growing up and preparing to get married, I actually expected that. I wouldn't lie to you. So, even when I uh, met my husband, I... I had this thing like, okay, so for me, brace yourself up. You're going to get married into a place where um, the sisters, his father is late, so, but the mom was alive. Mm -hmm. The mom is still alive, where aunt, sisters and mommy will get into your business. Okay. But it was very surprising for me that that didn't happen, mm. amazingly. Mm. And he's, he's in the family of women, mm -hmm. and they, they don't get into our business. In fact, I don't even call them my in-laws. I call them my sisters. I call my mother-in-law my mom. Mm. I, the way I treat my mom is the way I treat her. The way mm. I treat my sisters is the way I would treat any sister if I have. I don't have a blood sister, okay. but if I had one, is the way I would treat them. And okay. most of them are quite older than me. So um, for me, it was very relaxing. And I even involve them in my business sometimes. Mm. Maybe I, um, I have an issue and I feel okay. This person's wisdom, this person's wisdom will actually help my marriage since they know their brother more than me. Mm. And they bring it in. And sometimes, in fact, there was one that she was like, you know what, for me, it's your marriage, you know. You mm. should handle it yourself. Mm. Yeah. You understand? So I think it's because of the traditional angle we have in Africa here. We are mm. very traditional. But I also know that there are also peculiarities. Not all families are yes. like that. Yes. I think you're one yeah. of the two pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I actually realized yeah. that in fact, when I talk to people and they have this, I have to see. In fact, there, there's one lady that I was talking to. She has a timetable mm. when she has to go see her in-laws. If she doesn't go see them, it's, it's war. Yeah. You know, she was talking about the time she has to call. And I've never had mm. that. You know, I've been married two years on now. It's like everybody minds their own business. When we see, we see. Mm. The only thing is I try as much as possible to keep in touch because it's not really my area of strength, okay. you okay. know, so I had to really work it work in, in yeah, and work yeah. it in. But it has not been a major problem, an where issue. a major yeah. issue mm. where they are calling me, having meetings on my at all. In fact, okay. they pray for me, you know. Wow. It's very... very it's a travel. Wow. It's a travel. Wow. They even get stuff for me. I, I I'm serious. Okay. Okay. Let's hear that. Let's hear that. Sorry. You know, because she just talked about a <laughs> very <laughs> wonderful relationship with the in-laws. Wonderful. I, I know people who, because of what they then they see might happen before they even get married. They start going to live and visit and cook and wash for the would be mother in law oh, and yeah. you know, try to familiarize with the sisters in law. Mm. Wow, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's the long thing. <laughs> I'm serious. You know, I, um, I have a, um, um, a similar experience to what you said, but I didn't go to cook for anyone. But I, from experiences around me, you know, we are all products of our environment and experiences. Yeah. So I grew up having 
issues around momsy, aunts, friends, you know, so at, um, at the point in my life, I had this weird mentality of not having a mother-in-law. Hmm. And it became so strong in People me. People go as far as praying. I pray <laughs> for their mother in law I, I so pray she die. Yes, my my that point yeah. was God, any man <laughs> that I would marry should not have a mother. Wow. No. I prayed. <laughs> wow. Long time ago, long time ago. Okay. And that mentality changed about 15 years ago when I was in university. And it, it, got, it got so bad for me that any guy who came to, you know, talk to me, propose and stuff, I had it that. I is your mom. Is your mom alive? Once are you alive? Wow. <laughs> we had a mom. <laughs> no, 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 no. Until wow. I met. Really? Yeah. Wow. Until I entered university and um, my pastor gave me another example of mm. what she is going through now. Mm. That all families are not bad. All yeah. are not bad. At all. So why not just have a positive mentality? And that is what one of the things I'm going to talk about in Andy in-laws. Have a positive okay. mentality. Mm. You know, in laws generally. It's not, it's not all in-laws that are bad, like she said. Mm. That's why I want to categorize them into the good, the bad, the very bad, and the toxic ones. Mm. <laughs> you know, so you have to know which one. I have to understand how to go with them. Yes. Some of this, like you said, once you are married to that guy, mm. his family is very important. Mm. His siblings, his mother, you have yours too. And you wouldn't wish your parents or your siblings to be as communicators. You know, from reaching you. So yeah. you wouldn't wish that for someone else, actually the person you said you love. Mm. Yeah. So once if you know some people they can't handle in law issues, so yeah. they don't even go into sort marriages. Yeah. But once you have entered into that marriage, you have to know how to handle your to in laws. Mm. So that is what, what I want to talk about. It's not all them are, but you know, we have some of these women you, you begin to see that they're toxic when they begin to find happiness in you having issues with your husband. They will keep reporting you to him. You know this Hollywood mother, mother mm. is in law. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I think I think I think, <laughs> I think that's <laughs> even the major yeah, problem because yeah. I think Nollywood as well has really not succeeded in portraying a very good no, yeah. example we, of we yeah. do have them. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not saying we don't, but also we know the power yeah, of the, the media. Exactly. exactly. The, yes. the power of the media and also there's this thing called the law of attraction. What you see and you allow to stay in your subconscious long enough becomes your reality. Yeah. Sure. If time is, if if, they, if you don't take charge, so most times what happens is people watch these things. Um, so they see a pardon me, a patient Ozoku acting <laughs> as the witch mother-in-law, how to get the wife, yes. and you know you have Finish not got her. a pregnant killer, do something, mm. and before you know it, you begin to begin accept exactly. that reality. Yes. And if you're not mm. careful, you attract into your life. Yes. So yes, there are actually people like that, but because you yourself, there is. A part of you and let's be real i mean i talk to people i know people what i didn't even know you have actually prayed a prayer i've had people pray that prayer I, I but i had to come I to that place where i have a brother and i wouldn't want my I, I did, I, I my did brother's pray. fans to be praying that my mom should pass on because <laughs> tomorrow you can have sons. i didn't think, exactly. I didn't think about it i didn't think about it that yeah. way but that man made me understand that you have a mother, yeah. you have brothers. Yeah. You don't want your mother it's to die because, like because of you know, Exactly. And you know, you don't want me that, yeah. okay, I don't have to carry that mindset into marriage. And mm. that, that's another angle to it, mm. handling your in-laws. You yeah. have to have, some of us at times, we carry this mindset. We come in already with we, a mindset. Yes. 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 <laughs> and we forget exactly. to know that sometimes this, some of these in-laws, is not as if they're toxic. They just have, but they just have this they don't fear. Know how yes. to go about Is she going to take care of my mm -hmm. son, yeah. like mm -hmm. I used to do? Mm -hmm. Is she going to be a good wife? Is she going to, some other selfishness, you know, mm -hmm. selfish yes. reasons. But some of these people fear. So you have to have that positive mindset to know, Try okay, to is she the good one? Is she just having fear of, her, of mm. me taking care of our son? Yes. Or she tells it then, you now know how to go about handling. Let, let us look at another issue. And uh, this is what we find because we are very, very polygamous. No, polygamous, sorry. We are extended family. That's what we do yes. here in Nigeria. When should they come visiting? How long can they stay? And who should come and stay? Setting, is it the setting boundaries, yes. The, 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 the father's been things like that. Mm. I, I, I can't say there's a fast and rule about that. Mm. You, you have to work with your spouse. Okay. You know, some people believe that they have to call. Actually, in this Lagos, even if you don't call, you come and visit me. I'm not around. You don't know if you have traveled. Mm. So you come, or here is your case, like someone is to say. So some believe they have to call. It's, the calling is not to make sure, <laughs> but just to know that, okay, we are expecting someone coming. Mm. Some, you have to just come, depending on how you relate to them. So you work with your spouse to know how to deal with these in-laws. So you, whatever works for you, 
But the thing, the issue, the major thing is that you and spouse, you have to be together to be able mm -hmm. to work because it's, it's very, it can be very terrible if your in-laws are bad and your yeah. husband is passive. Is, um, about it. About yes. it. He's not assertive. It can yes. be very killing and frustrating. Yes. So, but if you work Thank together you with him, yeah. it's like the man I just left here, I, I love what he said. He said, you could insult him, you could do anything to him, but his well, wife. Mm, so okay. such a man will not take any nonsense from both his in-laws, mm. I mean his own family mm. and, and outsiders. Own, yeah. Yeah. So such a woman will be very confident to be open to him, mm. to talk to him, you know. So work with your spouse, what, do whatever works for you in your in-law. There's no issue or well, there's no evil in your in-laws coming to visit. My sister-in-law is coming to come and visit. And stay I even have long. issues going to visit Jane when they stay too long. And How long is too long? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, with there, well, my sister-in-law has been on my neck to come visit and she lives in Abuja. Okay. I live in Lagos. And the day I had time to go, she wanted me to stay for like a month, but I only had a week. Mm. Even that week for me was too long, mm. but for her it wasn't enough. Ah, you have to stay. You have to say, see, I have to go. I have work. I have to, you know. So I wouldn't say, but of course, if you, if the other is staying one year, six months, uh, you know, get work. <laughs> you know, so it could be that very bad if okay. it's getting that long, that long. All right, let me bring in uh, uh, Pastor Fumi here. Let's okay. talk about men who are mommy's boys you know mm. like i have three boys and <laughs> <laughs> i have three boys and funny enough my girls i have five kids by the way two of them are girls you know so my daughters are like they're very independent like they don't they don't send me but my sons they are very mushy mushy so, all so of me you know and all that <laughs> so i know i am unintentionally raising mommy's boys and already i'm seeing myself as a mother-in-law how i'm gonna be because oh I'm overly protective the one, right? of the boys <laughs> and the girls. Like, like it's true, you know. So I, I'm already working on myself to that to know the kind of girl you're going to bring in mm. and how we're going to handle that situation. Anyway, we'll cross the bridge when we get it. But what I'm <laughs> trying to say is, how do you handle a man who is a mommy's boy? Because in every marriage, there's always that other woman, and the other woman most of the time is the mother of your husband. They don't do it deliberately, but there's always this rivalry that goes on and even some men yeah. unconsciously compare their wives with the that's not how my mom does it you know uh, it's not tasty like my mother's cooking mm. and how do you handle because that can be a big issue okay um yes. i think i still fall into the two percent you spoke about earlier <laughs> 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 because okay. um in my own case um my husband for instance is not the only boy but there are two but he's actually the other one is a bird and he's the one present here so I actually did have this feeling like, okay, is he a mommy's boy? But I actually know he has this strong personality. Okay. Even though there might be this unconscious mommy's boy. Mommy's boy more is in terms of food. Oh, wow. <laughs> there is a way mommy cooks that okay. you can't beat it. Mm -hmm. But the way my mother-in-law has really been able to solve that is whenever we go visiting. For instance, since we got married, she had only come once. Mm -hmm. stayed over in my house once. And that once was because it was late. She couldn't go back and we insisted she stayed the okay. night. Okay. So... I don't have That's the case a of wise mother in law. Yeah. Yes. I, I'm, I'm she has rather we go visit if we go, we can say two days, three yeah. days. Mm. So, what she does most time, because my husband is Yoruba, I'm Yoruba. Okay, you know, our we we say our when we say soup, if, if you say cook soup, soup is stew, stew, stew. To us. yes, yes. Obeata. So, Obeata. <laughs> <That's soup>. so, <laughs> But soup, but an evil soup man, and Urobo soup. man, yes, hmm. soup is it's banger. Soup. Different <laughs> things must be playing yes. in yes. that yes. soup. Exactly. Different things. Exactly. So it was. I've never eaten banger before. Mm. I only ate it once. Mm. I didn't know how to cook it. So I tried. I went on YouTube. I tried, but <laughs> it still didn't feel mm. like it. Mm. Whenever I just always saw the way it would lead. Whenever we go to visit my mother-in-law. So what my mother-in-law does is, whenever we go visiting, she will buy the stuff. She will buy it. Then she'll just call me to the kitchen. And show you and how. And show me how. Wow. Yeah. So wow. She, was, she will come, she will taste, ah, it's okay. Oh, yeah. For me, still, you will cook this one. You will cook. Even the okra soup. I want okra soup. Is do blend okra. Mm. Uh, okra is like the okra is different from. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. there are all kind of okra is different. Yeah, so it was. But it wasn't a problem because she's very understanding. Mm. She knows Fumi is Yoruba. She mm. doesn't really know how to cook these things. So she. 
She's began to, you know, I'm, yeah. no, no, no. She's, she's I won't lie to you. you I'm, I am, I am blessed, so blessed with, I'm blessed with good in laws. Yeah. I say it any day, anytime. I'm, I'm blessed with good in laws. Mm. Very, <laughs> very, very <laughs> understanding. So, but in this case, yeah. I, but I've also seen because I have a friend, for instance, who happened to have gotten married to someone like that, and mm. it was really a major problem. Yeah. A, she had issues for years in her marriage. You know, all along I felt she was even happy in her home until one day she came visiting me and she was really narrating. And this was just barely some weeks in my marriage. So it's mm. just putting some fear, yeah. you know. And um, But one thing that I realized that she did was, first of all, she had to be very prayerful. Mm -hmm. There is always that place because some mothers also, it's not like they are being wicked. They're just, they, some, some of them just don't know how to know when they've how crossed to let the go. line. Yes. They don't know when they've crossed the line. Mm. They don't know when they have even gone beyond the line, when mm. they have overgone, done it. I'm some of them, you I'm pushing the it. Edge, and yes. some of them mm. also, because of their own experience True. growing up, yeah. you know, maybe they saw the way father acted towards the um, son or something, and that just put something in their head and before you know it, they're trying to raise, but no, nobody can raise a child like I would. Mm -hmm. And most times, I also see this happening families where mommy and daddy are not really close. Mm. I'm serious. Most times mm. when mommy and daddy are not really close because mommy needs to take care of daddy. She needs to pour in some she needs to yeah. pour somewhere. Mm. She needs to release. And the children in are fact, very sometimes I, I consciously always try to bring my mom back to, you know, this boy, my, that's my brother because my parents are separated and all that. Mm. So I try to like pull her away from that place of don't be too overprotective. Don't okay. be too, because she can be quite dirty, yeah. you know. Mm. Not because she's been wicked. My mom is a very loving, she's one of the most amazing mothers yes. I know. Yeah. Okay. You well, know? that's why I you know, but, that. But, yeah. but, then, but, that's but that's protective, but that's right. so the, but that's protective thing. Sometimes it goes so, too far. On the part of yeah. the wife, mm. I would advise when you notice that, first of all, love up on that mother-in-law like crazy. Mm. And you have to you'll be blessed. Okay, let's talk about um, when a child comes in and when there's the need for the in-law, the mother-in-law to come in, even they call it a Oh, uh, yes, that's an issue. <laughs> when you have the mother of the mother and yes. the mother of the father <laughs> coming <laughs> Who, so whose right is it, Avon? would say um, right? the, 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 the wife's mom. Most times I think it's the wife's um, mom. You know, but sometimes um, the, 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 the husband's some, mom would want to come. believe it's the husband's mom. Yes. <laughs> and sometimes yeah, um, the guy else. can understand why the mom has to stay for this long and wh when he needs to be with the wife <laughs> in a lot of issues. And again, the thing about least and things you have to give for the mother-in-law when she's living. I think I, that is extremely an evil thing. Exactly. Really. Because, yeah, yeah, I think it's major. Evil. Evils. Okay, I, yeah. I think no, it's evils some, that some evil. Some cultures also do that. Yeah. Some cultures also do that. But I'm not sure if the, that happens in the western part. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not no, sure. No, that doesn't. But it, the southern, it, a yeah. lot of things happen. I think but, it's majorly evil. People. He, yes, but I, I, I can't. I can't fathom why you have to give lists for someone who came to do Omogo. Personally, so I, I mean, you're the one that should, should be giving you me. You should give. You should well, give me. I don't know if it's a cultural, <laughs> cultural thing. Should, but you know, let me give an example. When, yeah. when yeah. my sister-in-law was pregnant, yeah. uh, my mom had to go visit. Okay. You know, it, she had to go like a week or two weeks ahead mm. because she, we, when she went for um, a test, she was having issues. So she had to go. Mm. And at the point when our own mom also came, mm. So my mom had to like, okay, let me move. Like she said, my That's mom is also very right. understanding. She knows yeah. when to draw the line. You know, it's not easy. And also children have to, you know, at a point in your life, like I always tell people that no matter how old you are, if you are a child and you still have parents, you always be a child before them. Yeah. Even if you are 50, 60, once you still have parents, they will exactly. always see you as, as that, that baby. Child. Yes. <laughs> and until you have grown up to that point where you could stand and tell, mommy, this is what I want. And she sees that, oh, is a, is, a, is an adult is matured they will they will not stop talking to you as a child and giving you instructions instead of advices true so when well, I, I think that is majorly the issue between um, with these mommy's boys at times that they don't really man up to let mommy know that this is what i want to, to let that know that this, and that transfers onto the Into, wife yes mm -hmm. and yes. she has to now be the one that will not like be firm mm -hmm. like she said love her you know as a love at all mm. and be prayerful. Sorry, I also want to chip in something. I think also I would um, blame the fathers sometimes mm -hmm. because um, if we were to really go biblical, the, the, the raising of a child, especially the son, lays so much on the oh, father. On the father. Yeah. So the question is why would the father watch mother 
be so close to the sun. To sun. Yeah, and what not, about I'm not here. I, I think yes. there's this thing between. No, no, there's, there's this thing with daughters and their fathers Father, and sons. And no, no, no. There's that place. The there's that so. place. I'm so not that. No, no, no. There's that place. But really, if as a father. Your your job, your primary job, mm. is to raise, raise, raise your son, son should see you as, as a role model. model. Yes. Yes. You know, before any other person mm. on TV, before any other person out there, you are the primary role the model. Father may have to go and look for. Let me put yeah. in here. You know, another <laughs> school of thought. You know, so that is most of the times because of the traditional settings of most of our marriages, you find out that the father is uh, most of the times not really. They are married, but he's not really in that marriage. They believe in Emotionally, and a lot of women go through all this domestic abuse and all of that. Mm. And they tend to lean towards their sons. sons. You know, support. for that protection they don't get from the husband. Mm. That's, That's where all of that connection it sometimes comes. Yeah. Then comes another yeah. one is yeah. this, um, yeah. mm. you know, once a woman gets married, her children becomes her husband. Yes, in even the, the Yoruba setting. Yeah. 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 And it's mm. not your husband, mm -mm. it's your child. He's so your son. At times it's unconscious. <laughs> so women, you know, there's this love from to someone that comes out of you. Yes. This is a man, you are standing on your I wife, think you always have to let the children get it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My, my husband does that a lot, you know. If, if he sees my son out, jealous. he comes and he says, what are you doing with my wife? <laughs> yeah. He puts yeah. it to, he talks to my sons like we are yeah, age mates, you know. Yeah. Yes. What are you doing with my wife? Please leave the room, you know. So they know when Whoa. they see my husband, they, they shift. Because he's, he's right the right owner. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so they should. So even but though she's mommy, there's a limit. I think you should, you should mm. set those boundaries. So, but now, let's talk about how the wife should react or act in all of this. Because she's the one who is always, always this. in the middle of all yeah. of this. Uh, sometimes, even the husbands unknowingly sex their wives up mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. hatred from their in-laws. Mm -hmm. If you have a, a man who can make up his mind most of the times, the family of the man might be thinking is the wife who is always pushing him to take yes. those decisions. Yes. Most times, she doesn't know anything, and you know, and then she just comes under that. fire for nothing. Yeah. How should a wife, you know, who wants to keep her marriage, who also wants to be at peace with her in-laws, how should you, How you actually balance everything? Yes. Wisdom. You know, balance I love I love yeah. something the Bible says. It says a wise woman. Mm -hmm. Didn't just say a woman, and it didn't say wife. A wise Wisdom. woman Wisdom. builds a home. Wisdom is the principle. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, she needs to apply a very solid dose of wisdom. For me, when I was getting married, one of the things that God helped me to understand is don't see your in-laws as in-laws. See them as your family. Okay. So I relate with my um, since I don't call them sister-in-law, for instance. If I ever want to do, if I want to farm, I'll say sister-in-law. I don't say, I consciously told myself, they are not my in-laws, they are not outsiders. They are mm. part of me. Yeah. Yeah. Even though, yes, there are invisible lines that we've drawn, but which they themselves drew mm. because they've never interfered. Mm. So a woman, you just have to apply wisdom. First of all, you can win the argument and lose the battle. At mm. the end, oh yeah, you are trying to no, 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 no. This is the way it should be. At the end of the day, you've lost everybody because the truth of the matter is, you will have issues in your marriage. Mm. In as much as we're saying, in laws should not interfere. Doesn't mean at some point you don't when need there them. are some yes. major yes. issues, you, you won't need them. them. Yeah. And most yeah. times, because you can't, you don't want to spoil and ring your husband before your family. Who do you defer to? Most times, I don't discuss things with my mom. In fact, it's later maybe because she stays with me. Mm. You know, she had an issue. She stays with me. And there are some things that is later. She's wondering, eh, so when this thing happened. Happen? When did this happen? Mm. But before then, maybe so, my in-laws already knew about it. Mm. Because I, I would prefer, they, is their, they, they will, even if they say something negative, mm. in quotes. Is their son. Is their son, yes. yes. But I wouldn't want to ruin his reputation before. Well, your own family. The same way yes. I wouldn't mm. want him to do that for me. True. So I had to make sure that. I embrace them. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean sometimes we don't get on each other's nerves. Doesn't right. mean sometimes we are not offended. But wisdom says you don't take offense. Okay, mm. let, me, let me come in. All right, yeah, quickly, quickly on the yeah, yeah. Yeah. note. Um, like you said, wisdom. You, you remember, you can't control what your in-laws say. Mm. But you can control how you react to it. True. True. So, like she said, wisdom. I agree with that wisdom. At times, for the toxic ones, you have to be firm. Okay. Mm. Surely, if your husband is this docile, this passive one, you have to be loving, kind, you know, prayerful, at the same time, firm. Okay. Mm. Let them know, don't pretend. Pretense is very expensive. Mm. Be real. Mm -hmm. 
you know, let them know who you are mm. as you are kind, as you are prayerful, mm. as you go along with it. It's not easy, like, you know, but if you are friend, you are prayerful, you apply wisdom, it works in different ways for different people. Mm. But the main thing is that be prayerful, be firm, be kind, and love them. And True. work with your spouse. Love. 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 I, I, I've never seen a situation where love doesn't win. So this about you know, love. It has, love today, I can say I'm one of the 2%, you know, who has <laughs> loving in love. My own tip is get married into a family where everybody has yes. work. Because it's when you have in-laws that don't have work. That's another That's thing. That's when they carry oh, your business. Yes. Let them have work. You know, so everybody's busy. They don't have your time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that's, uh, that's as much as it's we can take very, on the show nice. today. I mean, just uh, follow it with love and with wisdom, yes. and you are sure to go the right way. My name is Justin Academy. Let's do it again. All tomorrow. right. Many thanks to our guests, Fumi Daniels and Becky Loro Fumi. Thank you for coming. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow at 10 for the weekend edition. Uh, enjoy.